guys, this is Phil in Florence. Yeah, I'm still here. I've had some people asking me lately, where you been? Well, me and old Jeff, we just been hunkered down trying to hide from Corona. We're back today to do a cook. I'm gonna do a couple of racks of baby back ribs. And guess what I'm doing it on? Yeah, right here, Weber Smoky Mountain, baby. About a matter of fact, her name is Baby. I named her Baby a couple years ago. Uh, look at our setup here. It's a little different. Hold on a minute and I'll get you a little closer. So I've got the Weber hanging rack. You can't get this anymore, but what you can get, you can go over to Gateway Drums, pick out the one. If you've got a Weber Smoky Mountain 22, just pick out the uh, attachment that they sell for the large drum and it'll fit right on here just fine. Also, over at Hunsacker, they've got a rib hanging attachment that'll fit this same thing. Uh, I'll try to show you a couple channels that have both of those. I'll check this out. Ruben over at the Mad Swine Backyard Barbecue shows you how you, if you use the Hunsacker rib hanging attachment, he got 22 racks of baby back ribs in there, as he's showing you right here. That's quite an accomplishment, I must say. So here's the rib hanger from Gateway Drums. And I like it so far. So far I know you can get about 12 racks of ribs on here, no problem. I've been doing 10 at a time. And then here's Huntsaker. Here's their uh, rib hanger. So the, the rib hanging attachments for Weber Smoky Mountains are out there. You can no longer get this one made by Weber. I don't know why they stopped with it, but they did. But there are other options uh, out there that you can get if you want to hang ribs in your Weber Smoky Mountain. Check them out. Okay, I got these ribs ready to, to accept some rub. I've taken the membrane off. They've been washed and cleaned up. First, we're going to go on with some AP rub by Killer Hogs. That's salt, pepper, garlic. Nice coarse grind. We'll do both sides. After that, on one of them, I'm going to use Uncle Steve's Shake. This is going to be the original. This looks like a real nice rub. I hadn't used this one yet. I've used the Gator Shake and the Spicy R. I'm going to thank Uncle Steve for sending these nice rubs out to me here a while back. I'm just now getting around to using the original. And on this next one, I've got some more rubs that I need to use. So I'm using Rocky's rub they got with the SNS Kamado package. We're going to go on with that on the other one. What we're going to be using for sauce today is Huli Huli sauce. I made this up last night. I got it in a, a bottle of, that had beets in it. Anyway, uh, this is a real good sauce. I use it for chicken because it's usually Huli Huli chicken, but the sauce can be used on, on ribs too. So that's what we're going to go on with on the sauce. Will you hang with me? We're going out to the WSM, Weber Smoky Mountain. Baby, she's been over in the corner crying ever since I got my Kamado. It's been a while since I've cooked on her, so I'll be right back. Get some uh, charcoal down around that basket. And I'm gonna put the hot coals in that minion basket. As a minion method, that'll spread out down below and ignite the other ones around it and just creep out. I want to put this Weber Gourmet basket in. Here's my rib hanging attachment or meat hanging attachment. And these go on here and you can slide them back and forth where you want them. I use cherry, I got cherry wood here. I'm going to drop right down 
inside the minion basket, one right next to it. Guys, I'm back. I've got these two racks of ribs. I've got them double hooked right down through the middle there. I'm gonna put them over to the side, kinda, where they're not gonna be right over that hottest heat. Here we go. And that's how I'll do it. And I'm gonna come back later and I'm gonna put some vegetables on the grate around the ribs. That'll work. You can do this all kind of ways. I'm just doing this as something different today. So we'll see how it works out. We'll put these to bed and let them start cooking. Here we go. I'll be back. A little over an hour. We've been running around 255, 270, somewhere along in there. And uh, I've got my vents on the bottom cut down pretty, pretty tight. The top vents about half. So I thought I'd open up and uh, put a little spritz apple cider vinegar. Let's uh, open it up. Ooh, they're cooking. Cooking pretty good. I think we got a hot and fast going. I did get up to 300 one time. You know, adjusted my vents. Got them back. Got the temps back down some. All right, the coals have hardly burned up any at all. <laughs> they, uh, we put it in that minion method. It just lasts a long time. Okay, I'm gonna close this lid. We'll come back in about another hour and check check them. The vegetables I'm gonna put on that grate. I just went ahead and chopped them up, put them in a pan together. That's what I'm going on with in just a little bit. Okay, I thought I'd go ahead and put these vegetables on. Let's see. Right That'll work out. Let's see where I got them. That's a pretty good setup. A great partial grate going around the edge. Just back down. We'll be back. Hey guys, it's been about two hours and 15 minutes. We've been cooking hot. We've been cooking around 290, 285. Didn't mean to cook that hot, but I found out that my grommet or plug had dropped out of the uh, guru report. <laughs> I was getting air from a source I didn't realize was coming. So, I'm gonna take these ribs up and sauce them. They're uh, pulled, pulled back, you can see. Is uh, I don't wanna overcook them, so. We're gonna lay them down in here. This is Huli Huli sauce I'm going on with. I'm gonna put this on there and put it back in and let it set. This is some good tasting sauce. It's sweet. All of you know, I don't know what the sun's doing to this shot. Got a pretty color to them. I, I didn't need to let them cook anymore because the hot fast, you can overcook. Got good pullback. And back on with it. That's one good thing about the Weber model of the hanging attachment. You just lift the rod out. I guess that may be what they meant for you to do anyway. Bring it over here. Okay. Now, slide these over some to the edge. These vegetables, a little bit more. Let me check one of these carrots. The carrots are usually the hardest thing to get soft. Yeah, I can tell you right now. They're not done. All right, we're going to close this down a little bit longer. Hey, cook's all done. We got these ribs, these two racks of baby back ribs are getting ready to uncover. They've been in the warming oven 
for, I don't know, about an hour. I'm going to flip this over like we normally do and slice from the back. All right, let's uh, slice this one up and see what we got. Maybe we'll do a little better job on this one. I, mean, I, got, I got lined up this time. All right, let's pick one of these out. That's a nice looking rib. Mm -hmm. It is. Another bite. Mm. Of course, both of them got the hooli hooli sauce. Both of them, you can taste that on, on both ribs. One rib has uh, Uncle Steve Shake's original, and the other rack had the Rocky's rub. <laughs> Um, there's a slight difference in the flavor profile on both of them, but they're both good. So what can I say? We're going to eat them all <laughs> at some point. Well, I think I'll just wait and have it on my plate because okay. I know my hands are going to get messy and so I'll right. just wait. What else do we have? So that's our ribs. Let's see what else we have going on. Well, here. We've got some potato salad I've made. And Phil did some veggies on the grill. Yeah. And those look yummy. Can't wait to try those. That's what we're having for dinner. All right. I can't wait to fix me a plate of that. Yeah. Okay, there's our cook for today. Sorry I've been gone so long. But we just hunkered down here trying to keep away from Corona. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm talking about. I don't even have to specify what that means because it's all over the world. And I hope each one of you are safe and you stay, uh, keep your social distancing, and I wish you well in that. And hopefully in this the hot weather moving in, it, the corona will move out. Yeah. So just say a prayer for all those who are suffering from it, that they'll recover from it and all those working in the front lines the doctors and nurses and everyone associated with it that's just right. keep them in your prayers and we'll keep y'all in our prayers as well and some of you uh contacted me or sent me notes and messages asking how we're doing because i hadn't made a video in a few weeks and so i appreciate that thank you for caring so until next time, I don't know when that's going to be, but until <laughs> next time, this is Phil and Florence. And Janet and Florence. We'll see you. Y'all take care. Bye. Bye.